We've introduced new dynamic colour controls to our brush engine, allowing you to have unprecedented levels of control, as well as total creative freedom over your brush strokes. Previously, a brush stroke in Mari was made up of multiple splats of the brush tip to create a single stroke and used as a mask to project a single colour. Now, artists have the ability to change the colour of each brush tip splat, allowing for highly stylized, unique strokes. In addition to being able to change the colour of each brush splat, we've also added the highly requested ability to jitter the hue, saturation and other values of your brushes. The range of these effects can be adjusted independently of each other or all together, giving you, the artist, a whole new level of control over your work. In addition to the new jittering options, we've also improved the options for brush tips. Previously, you would need to ensure that the image used in your brush tip was encoded in the alpha channel and the colour of your brush tip was ignored. In this update, not only are you able to generate your brush tip from an image's red, green, blue or luminance channel, but you're also now able to utilise the full RGB colour data of an image, allowing you to now splat decal images using a brush tip. The process for importing an image into Mari to use as a brush tip has not changed. Simply navigate to the tool properties for your brush and import the image that you want to use. Once imported, you can use the source drop-down menu to assign the colour channel that you want the brush tip to use. Create an alpha from a black and white image that wasn't encoded in an alpha channel. Assign the source as luminance and tick the invert alpha checkbox. This allows Mari to read black and white images as an alpha, allowing you to use logos or decals as brushes. To create a brush tip from a coloured image, assign the source of the imported image to RGBA. This allows you to use a coloured image as a brush tip and the colours contained in the image will be applied as paint. When working with coloured images as a brush tip, your foreground colour assigned to the paintbrush is used to multiply colour variants to your brush tip. To ensure colours painted on your model with an image-driven brush tip match the original image, make sure that your foreground colour is set to white. However, feel free to mess about with the colours you assign to your brush to change up the hue of coloured images used as a brush. Brush stroke settings are located under the brush settings menu in the tool properties window. From here, you can control the opacity, flow, colour, hue, saturation and much more of your brush. All the options related to colour have almost identical settings, so let's take a look at them and what they do. So, when jitter is enabled, your brush will blend between the foreground and background colours assigned to your brush. There are two ways that you can jitter between colours, per stroke and per tip. Per stroke means that every time you lift your pen and draw a new stroke, the colour changes to a value between your foreground and your background colour, while per tip means that the colour will change with each splat of paint that is put down. This means that you can put down strokes and have the colour of the stroke change multiple times without ever having to lift your pen. Within the colour options, you can also adjust the range of your colour jitter. This allows you to increase or decrease the amount of colour that is included in your blend. The slider on the left allows you to control the foreground colour, while the right slider controls the background colour. The last setting is pressure blend. This option allows you to control which colour is painted depending on how much pressure you use when you put down a stroke. The more pressure you use, the closer to the foreground colour your paint place will be, while the less pressure you apply, the closer to the background colour the paint place will be. Pressure can also be adjusted as you draw a stroke, allowing you to be able to paint gradients between two colours quickly and easily. Hue, saturation and values effects can also be used in tandem with colour effects and the jitter settings can be set independently of each parameter. For example, this means that you can have your hue jittering per tip while the colour jitters per stroke, leading to some really cool colour variants every time you put down paint. The colour possibilities within the new brush engine are endless, so we encourage you to have a play around and see what you can create. To clear any colour settings applied to your brush, hit the Clear Brush Value Settings button located at the top of the Brush Settings window. All settings that impact the shape of your brush, such as rotation, radius or tilt, 
can also now be cleared by pressing the clear brush shape settings button. We hope you enjoy this new feature and happy painting!